And this is a much better ending. Like hey guys, welcome back to another video of Legend of Runeterra. This time we are playing the cheapest deck. By cheapest, I mean this deck is literally the cheapest possible as far as mana cost go. The only high cost mana unit that we have is the Poro King. And we have a synergy with Zoe. So with Zoe, one mana cost, elusive unit. When she strikes, she creates super cool star shard in hand that can invoke a sadistic card that costs three or less. Now, for Zoe to evolve, she needs to see you play 10 cards with different names. Once she evolves, now every time you summon an ally, grant its keyword to all allies. And when she strikes the Nexus, she gets Behold the Infinite, which allows her to invoke. Add to it the Poro King, who each round, the first time you summon another Poro, he will create a Poro Snack in hand that gives Poro allies everywhere plus one attack and defense. Once you summon six plus other new Poros, he level up and now he create random sp special snacks in hand that can give random keyword uh, a keyword beside the plus one attack and defense. So by choosing the poro the poro cards, I have one copy of each card in the in the deck, with a few exceptions. So it will not take that long once we summon Zoe to evolve her and show her capability. Another Poro. Then I am going to summon Esmu, Breath of the World, that an elusive unit that when I am summoned, he will play Shine on the top card of your deck and when he attack he will he will grant the supported ally plus one attack and defense not bad i don't mind it since I can summon him again and gain another shine. Unlucky. I am going to use Poro Snack. Which will give all poros plus one attack and defense. This way, my poro can survive attacking Boom Crew Rookie. And when Blue Sentinel die, he will summon Crest of Insight. That will next round will give us an extra mana. So next round, instead of having five, I will have six mana. So I can summon the Poro King plus the Poro. And that way I can get Poro Snack. Everybody knows I like snacks. Especially cookies. Surprisingly. Enough. Okay, I am going to skip now. We summon two, this would be the third. Okay, let's summon the Poro King. 
the poking does not count for his own evolution. That is the six plus other, not himself. I am not going to... Okay, I will attack. Actually. I am going to attack since... He will not use Israel to defend against Nimble Poro. So I have a high chance of killing a unit or dealing damage to the next. Of course he has 4 mana. So there is a possibility of using a spell, but even if he does, it's not a major issue. Nice. Okay, I am going to use Poro Snack right now. This way, Daring Poro can kill Israel. And defend with the Alps. A quick tip, some people don't seem to know it, is that uh, you can see here this lightning bolt, it means the effect was not triggered this round. So it, this card has an effect, but it was not yet used. As you can see, others are still on. Okay, I am going to use Affectionate Poro Plus Esmos Plus uh, instead I will use Cosmic Youngling is better At least I can use it to heal my Nexus So Poro Snag Then Poro Fly This turned out to be a Poro deck, not <laughs> Okay, let's attack He need to sacrifice his units To defend against Poro Fly and Poro King Or else he die Finally have Zoe. Okay, he is going to deal seven damage to me. And heal himself. I can live with that. Because I am going to summon Zoe. And I want to evolve Zoe, so let's play around with our food. Please don't kill her. Ah. Okay. Better than nothing. So, 
I am going to use Poro Hoarder. Then change it to Pouty Poro. And evolve Poro King. Then I am going to change it. Then I am going to summon Esmu just to defend against the Imperial. So we played four cards. I am going to use for snack. Matter. Okay, he gave up. Okay, let's go to round two. Hey guys, welcome back to round two. So I played quite a few rounds with this deck, but never got to Zoe. This changed now. So we need Zoe as early as possible. To get her to evolve as soon as possible and most our cards are quite cheap it's just for that okay let's we have one free damage okay we have Super cool star shard, and we have few ports. Let's see what he will play. We are play playing against Twisted Fate. I think he will come back to to be actually good next patch. Yeah, let's go on an adventure. Quick attack. Well, we are quickly attacking with the quick attack. At least reduce the cost of super cool star shard. So invoke allow us to pick a celestial card from among three to create an hand, and they cost three or less. So a sheep celestial card, basically. Nice. I am going to take Moon Silver and summon Esmus Breath of the Wolf. So Moon Silver will allow me to reduce the cost of a card in hand by one. I am going to keep this for later. So since it costs zero mana, when I give it to the Poro King, I can summon him directly. I will take the 6 damage. I will use Poro Snack. use for a fly but what happened here? so the reason I am keeping divine clerk in hand is because it has reached three power so when I summon it after evolving Zoe all my units will have life steal not just one or two Okay, I will summon the serpent. Two cards missing. 
So I should be able to evolve the way next round. And the reason I have uh, the reason I don't mind the damage as much is because of the divine clock. Missing two cards. Okay, I will start with Affection for At least I will have a Poro Snack in hand. Then use Behold the Infinite. And that should allow me to evolve to Zoe. Unless you have a spell that can counter it. In that case. Okay, I will just behold the infinite first. Get the messenger and summon my pot. Nice. If he attack, I am going to use poor snack. If he does not, I am going to summon the Divine Clerk. But I cannot... Okay, I cannot use the Divine Clerk right now, so I will use Poros Knight either way. Start with summon Sabal Boru. Then Divine Clerk. I am going to get back full health. He has only two mana, so I don't think there are that many cards that can turn the table. much better than this. Hope you like the video. If you do, please share, subscribe, hit the notification button and put in the comments what other champions or deck you'd like to see next. Bye!